Walmart, man, uh, with incentives. Uh, you know, trying to keep people, you know, re what was that? Uh, retention, the new retention yep. uh, place. Yeah, they said their their attrition rate was like twenty one percent or something like that. Yeah, that's that's yep. high. Miss Martha. Hola, Martha. How you doing, baby girl? Yeah, man. Five hundred K. Yeah. Hey. Shit. Like my man said, uh, Walmart about to be the new club. <sighs> Do you yeah, think chicks. they got the cash like that? I mean, these motherfuckers is overcharging for meats. Did you is see where they put yeah, in the? Uh, yeah. Like on the scale. Yeah. Motherfuckers is weighing it and seeing how much they were actually getting. They they cutting corners. Yeah, because everybody people, like, cutting corners. Thought, yeah. Just, like I never thought to weigh it. You know, mm -hmm. before I fucking you know to actually see what they print on the on the package. Yeah. Everybody cutting corners. It's Walmart. They they got deep pockets and forever will have deep pockets. As long as we, you know, stay damn near under blue collar, yeah, they'll they'll have a uh, they'll have a business. So five hundred K for a fucking manager? Sheesh. Well yeah, was... they got all kind of this is where they they fuck. They got a, a gang of target criteria that they gotta yeah. meet yeah. at the end of every quarter so that you know, they can get that little bonus. I think what's fucked up for me, though, is if y'all could do that, y'all could have been doing it. Y'all could have been paying the managers. Y'all could have paid the managers 150 and spread the other 350 out across all the other employees. So these motherfuckers don't feel miserable about going to work and stacking shit in the frozen food section. Listen, I stack shit in the frozen food section at Target, and that's some miserable shit. Mm -hmm. I tried to wear gloves to do that shit, and they won't let you. But what I'm saying is, hey, man, you know, you got people. I think the last time I checked, it's probably a little bit more. They was making something like $8 and something cent. The, yeah. the motherfuckers yeah. that, just, you know. Just the, the base, the, the folks that are just on the floor, because remember, we talked about. <clears throat> yeah. At one time, Walmart employees were still eligible for fucking uh, EBT. Right, right. I forgot. Remember about that around the holidays. So yeah, yeah they've been had the money. They've been yeah. had the money. They selling cheap shit. Uh, it, 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 hotter than uh, quicker than hotcakes. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, they could have paid that shit. And the, the manager, what the manager need five hundred thousand for? Get that motherfucker hundred fifty and make sure the other employees got some money. Then you'll really retain somebody, you know. But I mean, it's the world we live in. They don't want to pay motherfuckers, man. Not at all. And like I said, they're going to have this is going to be the new club. You know, I, I saw some where kids were going to their local Walmart after prom and hanging out. Was that you, old man? So yeah, that. yeah. That, that's a big <clears throat> thing down south. Uh, when I was in Mississippi one time, it was after prom. Man. It was like, what are all these people doing out here in these ball gowns and shit? But <laughs> that was the hangout, man. That's you the 24 hour tomorrow. spot. You out know, in the country. That, that's just that's your shop. I went to the Walmart after hours in South Carolina. I'm telling you, <laughs> listen, the the listen, Dallas, what was that? Uh, Arlington on 20, they got the Walmart up that motherfucker. Go to that motherfucker or go to the one in Cedar Hill. Some baddies be walking. Through. And you know, you know what the babes be on, bitch. What you doing up there at one o'clock in the morning getting some paper towels for? You trying to get some dick, baby. This, you, come on, man. <laughs> It's like that. I'm t and Walmart now, be like that, like a motherfucker. Man. It's gonna be like that now once they realize they got a, a five hundred thousand dollar uh, hitter up in there. So you know oh, they're yeah. walking around trying to get chosen. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, man. They know. Come on, just like how they, you know, they they follow these uh, NBA players and shit from from city to city. <laughs> I'm saying, man. it's gonna be a bunch of bitches lined up in the back of Walmart. <laughs> This is what Walmart managers putting putting hot sauce in their condoms now. Yep. <laughs> the patio. But you know I'm laughing because yeah, it's what he says sound far fetched, but they already up in there anyway. If yes. they if they know the manager might come yeah. get half a milli. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. They pitching that puss, man. You start seeing a bunch of G wagons, you know, on the on the side of Walmart. You know, all of a sudden, you know, that's that's the manager. You know, they sit out man. there and wait. And joints open twenty four seven. They were like, oh, we gonna go. You know, I know when shift change. And yeah, uh, yeah I know who the manager is. At such and such. That's Derek. I know him. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's Derek. Yeah, that's Derek. So, 
It's gonna be a lot of ladies up in there, you know. That's get Derek Carr. Yes, yeah. Derek Carr. <laughs> they gonna have them Calvin commercials. So you right. own Walmart, right? <laughs> not yet, Grandma. <laughs> not yet. Not, not yet, Grandma. <laughs> right it's now, funny. It's funny, but you can I'm see in, it. You right now, I'm in the audio video section. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me two more months. Yeah, I'm in those classes. I'll be all right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm man. This bitch. 500K, but like you said, that's stock options and also hitting those criteria every yeah. quarter, you know, so you got to be on your shit. And, uh, but still, even if you come, you get half that. That's still a good fucking year. Man, look, if you, if you, if you hit your mark one time and quit, you didn't came up. Yes, sir. You didn't came it, up. And it also goes by the square footage because, you know, no, you know, they got the, you know, some smaller size walmart's with them you got those big ass ones that yeah. like you know industrial so i'm assuming it's those and i think they explained in articles i think it's about the square footage too yeah how you big a facility that you that you manage those smaller ones are called neighborhood neighborhood walmarts yeah and then you got the you know the big the ones super, that, the super that be at the county line and shit the one where you can buy tires and bitches yeah Yep. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Cuddy, man, I go in that mo listen, you know, I have issues sleeping. I would go in there and couldn't believe what the fuck was walking around at two, three in the morning. Like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, man. Especially on the weekend. You saw how Papa Do's was. Papa Do's on Fridays literally turns into a club just with no music. Just beautiful fucking women going for crawfish and dick. Same thing. <laughs> That's on the menu. That is on the menu. Crawfish. Yeah. Same <laughs> same thing with, with Walmart, man. Walmart down that motherfucker be getting it. I'm like, man, I'm gonna go put a little cologne on and shit with these jog <laughs> these jogging pants, no draws that go up in that bitch. <laughs> oh, this motherfucker right here. <laughs> Listen, your boy was on it. Doing some shopping, he was like, "Yeah, you know, I had issues sleeping. I'm gonna go walk, walk, try to walk some of this off a little bit, and, yeah. uh, you know." And I hate doing that because you end up spending shit because you always find yeah. something, you know, that you don't need, but you end up getting the shit anyway. So I hate oh. going there. Baby girl, you know, Daddy's here. Put that great value back. <laughs> right. <laughs> I got. Don't you. don't get your two three DVDs out the five dollar <laughs> bin. <baby. laughs> Oh, shit. She's special. She's special. Go on, get two more. Go ahead. <laughs> get, get your two more. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you have a good weekend. Go on, get your two more. I know you ain't got no cable. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck with your boy. <laughs> oh, listen, man. God. Listen, man. It be like, listen. <laughs> yeah, man. But no. Yeah, man. It, you know what, though, man? Look, I'm, I'm not knocking it. <clears throat> I'm not knocking it because nobody in Walmart has an easy job. So I'm I'm definitely not knocking it. But my thing is, if you can afford mm -hmm. to give it. And this, you know what? This this goes into that whole thing that we all talk about when we say, man, these motherfucking corporations can afford it. Mm -hmm. They can afford to give motherfuckers a couple dollars more. Regardless yeah. of what I think, they can afford it. If you can afford to give one motherfucker five hundred thousand, and he shouldn't even have to jump through all the moves, but if you can afford to do that, man, you can you can afford to play pay a decent wage, man. So it is what it is, man. Man, I was expecting you to say these motherfuckers don't deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. This he ain't you one of those left. jobs. This is one of those, those unskilled labor jobs. I mean, you for high school he, kids. He they ain't supposed to be able to raise a, a they sales or a family off this shit. I don't think they should, but at the same time, I mean, see, see, my whole my whole argument with that is this: people are right when they say, "Hey, man, these motherfuckers turn over billions in profits every year, mm -hmm. and yet you want to pay people pence." I agree with that in part, but when we're talking about some shit, you you ain't got to get no training, but how to bring the shit to the front of the shelf, put the old shit in the back or the, in front. No, nah, man. No, nah, you don't. But again, if you, if they got it to pay five hundred thousand, then they can spread that money around a little bit more than what they doing. 
you know. And I, th- and I think they're setting up the dude who who's eligible for that because it's just that one dude, right? You know, and you running all these people, you in charge of all these people, they could fuck your shit up. Mm-hmm. You know, like you know, for some reason, you know, uh, you know, this cat, <clears throat> you know, he can't keep his people in line or whatever because they frustrated. Like this motherfucker mm-hmm. about to, he could touch a half a half a million dollars. And we over here, we the ones who's doing the the groundwork. He's right. just telling us, you know, when to come in, when to do that, doing the scheduling, making sure right. shit come in and make sure shit go out. He ain't out here getting his hands dirty. That's he, us on the floor. He's a well-paid fucking overseer. Yeah. And when I tell you, you know, the motherfuckers at Walmart work. At, listen, man, about two, three, you go to that motherfucker about, you know, the all night ones, man, about midnight, you see all them carts lined up. Yeah, where they gotta stocking. put shit back, they gotta stocking. put it back, mm-hmm. then they gotta you know restock everything. You know they bust their ass for that little money. That's like the motherfuckers over at uh, Waffle House, man. They, yeah. they don't make shit. Yeah, but they bust their ass, you know. So, you know, hey man, you you know it, it's the world we live in, man. Like like you said, that cat is gonna be fooled because either they're gonna fuck him up, you're gonna have people coming for his position. Yep, you know so. He was robbed on his way home Calvin. by his other employees. Right. Oh. Bitch, remember oh. you want to give me the day off, pussy? Mm-hmm. They putting they girls could. on him and everything. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> I'm just saying, man, the setup. <laughs> this Ed just throw you off, though. He, 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 he act reserved and he say what it really is. Yeah, they, be, hey, they call their cousin Sunshine. Come on down here and, and, and get on motherfucking Derek. I got a cousin with some pussy so good, she throw it up in the sky. And pussy turned to sunshine. Sunshine. Yeah. That's all it takes. You know, yeah, or she a little baddie get up in there, you know, with that little blue vest on. And she walking around, you know, sashaying hey. all day and get caught up. Because, you know, she wants some overtime, but she wants some real overtime, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I just see some cold ass women in the blue vest up in the Walmart. Mm-hmm. Might be dumb as a fucking doorknob, but the motherfuckers got a body. Mm-hmm. You be like, baby, what you doing? Bitch, I could take you out of here. <laughs> That's what she <laughs> that be that bad. <laughs> you know, you do like she the strip club. I could take you out of here. <laughs> what you doing? You don't belong with them. You don't what belong you? with these heathens. Come on and that holler is, at me. That Come is on to the Cadillac. Man. Old man player shit. Come on over here, and you know I got a fifth of black velvet over here waiting. Yep. Come on, come yep. I got some re- I got I got some real needy, baby. Come on, <laughs> fuck with me. <laughs> what the fuck is that, <laughs> bitch? This the best. It's, bitch, if you coming out of Walmart, this the best it's gonna get for you. <laughs> real needy. <laughs> real needy. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. All right, man. We done beat Walmart up. Man. Yeah, let's go, man. <laughs> Shout out to the managers, man. Yeah. 